Now then, as you can see, we're back in the van, um, back in my comfort zone. So we'll just talk about the last, the last match that we had, which was round four of the Winter League, and we was back at Grange Park. Quite a few, uh, quite a few turned out for this one, which was good. And um, just touching on the rigs that we've been using, these are the floats I've been using pretty much all winter. Um, these are the Frenzy FM5s with a wire stem. I've adapted these slightly by colouring them, and some of them I've shortened the stem and the antenna just to make them sit how I like them to sit. Uh, these are the point four. I use them mainly in the point fives as well. Um, but moving on to the next round, we're at Messingham Swan. Uh, quite a deep venue in certain parts, so we're going to step it up a little bit, and we're going to something a bit bigger. Point uh, one gram floats, uh, and these are from a different brand, but they're absolutely spot on as well. Uh, wire stem, and they should sit nice. So I'm hoping to get a bit of action on those. Bait wise, um, I said previous videos we haven't changed the baits that much all winter uh, and I stand by that. Dynamite XL Sweet Corn, where we've used Sweet Corn. Swim Stim Green and Swim Stim Black mixed 50-50. Um, just to make sure it's a nice even mix uh, and that's served me well all winter where I've used ground bait. Um, and hemp, I'll be using quite a bit of hemp at the next match. Um, and hopefully fishing corn over the top of that and snaring a few fish. And fishery zone soft expander pellets. So I'll be pumping a bag of them uh, and they'll be getting used at roughly. The plan is to fish at top four and two, fish with soft pellet, have a maggot line set up at 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, uh, and then go on the bomb. So a bomb rig's fairly simple, free flow, uh, free running bomb. Uh, and I'll be fishing either bread discs popped up or I'll be fishing a banded pellet or even a bit of spiked uh, sweet corn as well as having a chuck around with the bomb. Uh, and I'll big fish in Swan, but I won't be up in the gear that much. I'll still be using a nine foot precision feeder rod, uh, and that should see me through to be honest. So, here's a quick look at some of the footage from round four. Then, it wasn't a great deal in terms of fish catching, it was a really, really poor match. Uh, for some of us, um, Al Walsh he won the match with £19.13. Chris Morgan, who's now become <laughs> Alan's nemesis. Um, he was just behind on £19.9, so they're having a really good battle between them two over various matches. Uh, and the rest of us struggled. Uh, I think Russell come third with £10, and then it was like nines and sixes from there on. So it gives you an idea of how tight the, the match was, really. Um, not looking forward to the weather on Wednesday. I think it's going to be snowing, a bit chilly. Um, so it might be a double flask job on uh, Wednesday. We'll have to see how that pans out. So have a look at the footage, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough.
I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Shame on me. So that's the footage that we had then. Um, hope you can join us for round five, Messingham Swan. And that's coming up this Wednesday. So the footage, hopefully now we've got the laptop sorted, should it the uh, should be in YouTube very shortly. So thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.